All right, guys, we're getting ready for our last stop of the day here in Beach Island. And right now, we're going to go take a look at a place that does some really cool things in the community. We're talking about the South Carolina School of Welding. Let's go ahead and check it out. All right, what's going on, guys? We're here for our last stop of the day here at Beach Island. We're here at the South Carolina School of Welding. And we got the vice president here. How you doing today, sir? Doing great, brother. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, so uh, first and foremost, you know, I've actually been here before. I love what you guys do here. Thank you. But for those who don't know, tell me a little bit about what you guys do here at the South Carolina School of Welding. All right, we open up an opportunity for people to learn how to get into the industry of welding, pipe fitting, so on and so forth from a different aspect than the traditional college route. Um, Back in the day, you want to learn how to weld. There weren't many schools available. If you were going to do it, you actually got on the job as a pipe fitter and you kind of had to sneak around and, and learn from your superiors to a point you're able to pass a test. But with us, we have the, uh, the opportunity set up here for them to actually get in the booth, real life scenario, learn from instructors through the season. I myself have been in the, the industry for over 30 years. Nice. The other instructor here has been in it much longer than that. And I actually learned how to do some of my welding from him. So it's a long legacy. Nice. Now, you've been doing, how long has this school been here? School's been here just at four years now. And so what made you decide, you know, you've been doing this for 30 years, what made you decide to bring this place here and why do you think there's a need for it? Really, nowadays, the industry doesn't allow somebody to just go draw a wire or sneak off and do something. Mm -hmm. The safety concerns and everything else and proper training is required. Here, you have all of that. You, you've got everything available. Um, another aspect of it was, it's a dying industry as far as manpower needs. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a ton of welding going on and not many people are going the route of learning how to do manual labor. Mm -hmm. It's extremely beneficial, it's very profitable, um, and from the aspect of somebody, let's say they get a loan for college, they're having to pay that back through the industry. Sometimes five, six, ten years they're still paying their loans back. Yeah. You come here, we have grants set up through the state of Georgia and South Carolina, um, if they can get those grants, then that state provided money, they don't come out of pocket for anything. Nice. So the welding hood, the utilities that they need, everything's provided to them. Uh, if you do have to pay out of pocket, we have payment plans set up. But this is all in the point of once they're done paying, the school's complete, their payments are done, they don't know anything. Mm -hmm. They go right to work. So. <laughs> And so how does that make you feel, man? You know, that, you know, you kind of have this place, you know, for people to be able to come out here, learn this skill and take it off into the world and, you know, use it, man. And, you know, use it well. Man, it feels awesome. My father was a welder. Um, I've got two sons. Mm, I want to choke up a minute. Both of them are. Yeah. So to me, that means a ton to be able to pass on what you have and what you know yeah. to the next generation. Yeah. It's more beneficial than anything else in my mind. Nice, nice. And so, you know, you're doing this for four years, you know, where do you want to see this place be in, say, in like 10 years or so? Oh, man. Um, I like the fact that we're small because we have a, a small staff. You don't want to overload the instructor with more welders than they need. Um, so I'd like to say I'd like to see it expand and be a larger footprint. But in that same sentence, I wanted to keep it personal. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't want to be where you got one guy that's got 20 people. He can only spend five, 10 minutes with each person. I want it to be where the instructor knows exactly what's going on with everybody the entire time. There's a connection made there, and in my opinion, they learn a lot better that way. If you were to say something to maybe somebody who's seeing this interview right now, and you know they're interested in welding, but you know don't really know where to go, what would you say to get them to come out here and check this place out? You don't know until you try. Welding is, it's like playing golf. Yeah. Once you learn how to do it, it's something you can do for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. uh, whether it be if you want to do it full time as an occupation, or you want to have it in your in your back pocket to say, okay, well, I need to fix this at the house. You don't have to pay somebody else. Gotcha. If people are trying to get a hold of you guys and you know get involved with this, where do they go? What do they do? We have Facebook. We've got a website set up. Uh, we've got phone set up here. I have um, on staff personnel the in, uh, every day, um, Monday through Thursday, say from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. the instructors are here. Well, again, man, I uh, love what you guys do out here. Thank you very much. Anything you want to say personally to all the people who have come here, you know, again, four years, man, that's a big deal. Any of the people who have come here, any people who work here, anybody who helps make this place special, anything you want to say to them right now? Thank you. They've, everybody here that supports everything I do, 
I get the glory of kind of being in charge of it. I'm here to work as well, but if it weren't for Todd, Annie, Laura, none of this would get done. I mean, I'm just a, I'm just a pretty face. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Look, thank you very much again, man, for coming out here. Uh, we'll see you guys in a little bit.